If you've not been able to retain the length of your hair, this video is for you. I'll be sharing you the reasons why you've not been able to retain the length of your hair and I'll also be giving you tips on how to retain the length of your hair because you can't continue to keep on growing your hair and at the same time the hair keeps on breaking and then you are stuck on that same length so if this is what you'd love to watch continue watching this video don't go anywhere hi guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing this face you're welcome i am alice and to my return subscribers you guys already know you are the best okay so guys in this video like i said i'm going to be giving you guys the tips on how to retain your length and also the reason why you've not been retaining your length so this video i'm sharing with you guys is based on experience so but while i'll be doing that i'll be making my hair so one of the tips to retain your hair is what i'll be doing today protective hairstyle yeah drum roll. <laughs> i know right yes it is common we all know that protective hairstyle is, but trust me it actually works okay protective hairstyle works a lot to retain your hair and not just making it alone also the care you you know put in during the period while you are on the protective style also is another tips which we are going to be doing in this video so guys another tips is investing in natural hair oil any kind maybe amla oil coconut oil name them ayurvedic oil so this one is ayurvedic oil which is the product i made myself i don't have my wrap here anyways but i'll put the video i'll put it on the screen later later in the video so you you should invest in oils like this natural hair oil they are very very important and essential for hair growth and also to help you retain the length of your hair so I'm, I'm going to be starting a challenge that's the reason why i want to do this protective hairstyle to start this challenge to retain the length of our hair so i recently did a haircut i recently trimmed my hair that is why it is looking like this my hair was actually longer than this but i had a very bad split end like it was very very bad very 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 bad here yeah, basically so but then so we're starting afresh and we're going to be going through the challenge with this ayurvedic oil to see if it actually works okay so if you're interested in joining this challenge you can get this oil wherever you are but if you want to get it from me that's if you're in nigeria especially those in lagos you can message me on my instagram account i'm going to drop the name of the handle on the screen alice underscore or no that's the name on my of my instagram account so you can message me there if you want to get the ayurvedic hair oil you can also use clove oil too because i make i make that also so in case you want to get any one of them but this challenge is going to be with the ayurvedic hair oil so guys i still don't know if it is mini twist i want to do or mini braids but because i recently cut my hair i think the mini braid will be the best thing to do because just so that the twist doesn't unravel so before you start making your hair for those that do diy before you start the braiding make sure you detangle the hair especially for those that have a very thick and stubborn hair like mine you detangle it before you start you know patting it to braid it and make sure you're using a white tooth comb can you see avoid tight tooth comb it's not good it will break your hair so if you're using tight tooth comb you won't be able to retain them because as you are growing it you're using the tight tooth comb to break the hair so how will you retain length so invest in white tooth comb as well <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do and before that make sure you have moisturized your hair don't comb it dry hair that's not gonna work it's not gonna work your hair is just going to keep on breaking and you won't retain them so make sure you have moisturized your hair just like mine can you see how soft it's looking okay 
for the feeling you can't feel it right i know but then bro it feels so soft so i'm going to detangle the hair now and when you want to detangle it please make sure you're starting from the tip you're starting from the tip upward you get this way so that's what you're going to do to other parts of the hair let me be detailed about the reasons why you're not growing your hair why you're not retaining it so one of the reasons is ignorance so a lot of people believe that anybody they see that has a very long hair it is genetics that's ignorant so if you are still that kind of person you need to change you need to change this is new year 2024 you need to change you can also grow your hair whether your genes are strong enough for it or not you can grow your hair okay so you have to push that aside that's one of the reasons why you're not growing your hair another reason is doing tight braid hairstyle and then using tight tooth comb instead of white tooth comb to detangle your hair and then while you're detangling your hair you're not moisturizing it you are detangling your dry hair which is leading to hair breakage and then as your hair is growing you're also losing it because you're not doing the right thing for your hair so guys this is how i part the hair for the braiding i part it into three section from the video you can see you see what i'm talking about so most times the pattern doesn't come out well so just in case you want to do it yourself and you have someone around that can help you make it look straight you can give it to the person so i had to go off the camera to try and straighten the line a bit so this is what we have another reason why you're not retaining your hair length is because you don't have a proper hair care routine and even when you have it you're not consistent with it so you start comparing yourself to another person that okay this person hair grows faster than yours so it must be genetics but you don't know behind everything you don't know what that person like the time the person has been investing the time the consistency that the person has been investing just to make sure the person has an healthy hair growth so you just assume that oh it's genetics which is not okay most of the time is because you're not consistent with your hair care routine so you need to take out time to be consistent with it this is an easy way to braid the hair you can see how i section it into three parts and then start going over it the way it should be the video is very detailed for you to learn how to do this yourself and i also want you to take note as you are braiding it like this you have to be careful not to do what i did in this video so as not to cause a knot in your hair especially when you're making your natural hair you can see the i created a knot there that can actually cause breakage so if you are braiding the hair make sure you are as you are braiding it once you are drawing it out to avoid tangling of the hair make sure you take note of that don't make the mistake i made here in the video This is actually a lazy protective hairstyle day because I was just so tired and I got exhausted early but baby girl whenever I start something I always want to finish it no matter how tired I feel I just want to finish it but these days I've noticed that I get tired very easily whenever I'm braiding my hair I don't know what's going on I honestly don't know what's going on but the amazing thing is the passion i have for it so even when i'm tired i still want to finish it but trust me i do take rest okay so you won't think that i'm overworking myself no i used to take a break from it when i'm tired but i must finish it basically that's just how it is 
so this is another method to braid the hair because for the other method some people might find that difficult this is also an easy way to do the braiding from the beginning you know grabbing it from the um root of the hair to braid it this is also very easy to learn so guys most people think that genetics will do everything for you when it comes to growing of hair but trust me i have experienced it for me now genetics is part of my hair growth but then that was what i was you know doing i was believing in that oh yeah it runs in the family i wasn't taking care of my hair i wasn't taking care of my hair at all until it got really bad my hair started breaking i wasn't retaining length like i wasn't growing my hair past a particular length and so and they said genetics is the key i mean people keep saying it runs in the family but trust me it won't take care of your hair for you genetics will not help you retain the length of your hair it will not help you grow your hair past a particular length if you don't take care of it i am talking from experience i've always had a nice healthy hair but i don't used to take care of it and then my hair started breaking falling thinning like it was so bad but when i started taking care of the hair i started seeing good results so make sure you're taking proper care of your hair don't rely on genetics alone because even those that don't have a good gene for hair growth they still grow their hair very very much longer and thicker so um in terms of retaining the length this is what i'll be using the ayurvedic hair growth oil to do this challenge and for those that will be doing it you can use it three times in a week and this challenge is going to be going on for three months basically yes so but i'll be giving you guys updates on the hair to see how it is going and make sure you're also doing yours as well using the hair oil directly on your scalp you apply it to your scalp and massage it gently and also to the tips of your hair so make sure you are doing it consistently i don't want to hear oh this or oh, that trust me if you're consistent with it you're going to see a result and mind you people differ so the amount of growth one person might see can be different from the other person so some people have fast hair growth while the others might not have fast hair growth so make sure you're patient don't compare yourself to other person be patient for yours and trust me you're going to see effective result so guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you'll be join joining this challenge just let me know in the comment section don't forget to share the video to your loved ones your family your friends and others that will be interested in content like this i'm going to see you guys in another video for now bye bye